Hi everybody, it's Philip Drozhinin from Russia and today we're gonna talk about burial hills and uh, first we're gonna watch some little movie that I made yesterday and uh, sorry for bad sound maybe next time it's gonna be better but anyways you can hear me pretty good although much of sounds disrupts yeah, this movie <laughs> I guess so let's see hello everybody it's Philip Brzezinin and today I'm gonna make a video about the burial hills as I've promised a couple of days before uh, I like your feedback on um, my mud flood videos I like your feedback on uh, ancient giant walls and pyramids pyramid hills especially and uh, right now I'm researching on mining and uh, I welcome you to challenge uh, that and uh, say a few words about what you think about it maybe I'm too suspicious and uh, extra uh, exaggerative you know so uh, today I'm going to talk about the burial hills, which is probably one of the most obvious artifacts that can be found in Russia and uh, many other countries. So uh, uh, we're going to walk in this forest to the to those hills. They are located closely to the Moscow area, and. Uh, some way they are dated to 11th century of uh, modern era so uh, we're gonna figure out maybe uh, at home I'll check some more uh, pictures of them and we're gonna talk about the probable theory how those burial hills were made and uh, what could have happened to them maybe make some crazy theories that you would uh, uh, would like to uh, know about them so thanks a lot We are now located close to those burial hills and everything would be okay if we wouldn't see this level, actual level of those areas of, uh, of uh, the burial hills placement. So you see it's uh, maybe 15 feet tall uh, hill maybe 15 high 15 feet high and uh, I'm gonna show you those burial hills a little bit later close to every village there's supposed to be a water source which supposedly um, might have fish in it so it might well be a lake not only a river or so close to those berry hills is just this lake as you can see it's uh, oval shape and uh, it comes to that creek which is connected to the system of the village and by the way we, we don't see by the way any trees here that are older than 200 years, maybe even 150 years. Maybe they all broke up. I don't know. Or maybe not broke up, maybe they just got broken. And you can see the actual level of the elevation of those hills area on this side. Climbing towards of those hills you might see it's already visible so this is the first one. and they are all over the place some are big some are small so they look like this a bunch of trees are growing sound gets more disturbing right now so I'm gonna comment it like this uh, 
so there's a bunch of them as you can see and uh, there's like a couple of hundreds of them at this at this com at this exact site it's like 50 plus hills and uh, pretty close to this site is just a couple of more so uh, 50 plus and 30 plus hills in each and uh, this like 12 sites in this forest forest not very big it's like five square uh, kilometers not very large it's close to Moscow it's all uh, all got uh, all got you know constructed by the private houses and so it's like cut cut and wooden tree houses uh, cottage houses and stuff like that so and uh, they uh, they want to live in uh, in a pine tree forest and sometimes this pine tree forest contains these fields of those burial hills and that's why they all like abandon that place and build their houses in other ways in other places but this place is uh, right now prohibited by the government and uh, it's used for ski ski trails and stuff like that so as you can see there's a bunch of them and they all look pretty much the same trees are growing from inside of those hills and uh, as I've already told there, there are no trees uh, older, older than uh, 200 years maybe even 150 so this completely uh, matches the date of possible final flood as we know uh, it was uh, in the in the middle of 19th century uh, maybe from the 1820 to 1850 something like that so after the final flood we can see the excavation started because obviously when you see every time when you try to dig something up uh, in a couple of years the flood comes and it's already in the mud again in the mud and you have to do the same thing every time you might as well stop that before uh, you are sure no floods are gonna be repeating so this area is uh, almost uh, covered with uh, mud and I'm gonna show you a little bit later the as you can see here uh, is a huge elevation on those hills and they might as well be houses maybe maybe not houses maybe uh, you know forest houses like uh, when you have a camp and stuff like that you make not the camp like uh, a camp with the with the hiking and stuff you have a camp for uh, hunting you have a camp for uh, permanent usage so you can return to it and maybe you have a lodge and stuff and stuff like that and after uh, the flood your lodge gets covered with this mud and it's not uh, it's considered to be a burial hill okay because no one understands what the hell is going on because mud covered the man in the in his lodge and his lodge made this uh, hill because mud covered the lodge and it becomes like a hill and they dig something out and they see a man and they think it's a, bur uh, it's a burial chamber and stuff like that but this one is definitely not burial chamber because they have just a layer of mud and as you can see I'll make a close up here let's see so it's just the mud and, uh, and soil nothing else that's it so uh, this could have been could couldn't have been a lodge 
or house or forest camp it, it's a uh, it's a burial hill site so the people like buried their uh, relatives and friends here and you see the amount of job that they did that's pretty pretty huge because some of them are five meters high and uh, maybe 15 meters in some conference or whatever or diameter so pretty pretty huge ones and uh, it's not as easy as to dig a grave as you can see and the reason the trees are growing just outside them is, is is just not because it's 11th century it's because it's covered with this uh, ground which is possible for trees to grow that's it if there were no ground here no soil no trees would have grew out of it that's the reason and the reason they are not older than 200 years is just because it was a mud flood and we prove that with some different pictures uh, like this Carlo Basoli and his Crimea in 1840 1842 as you can see he painted those pictures during his trip and during his trip he visited all those sites of Crimea and this is the famous burial hill the chamber of the Tsar it was made out of those stone blocks and it even had an underground level but right now it looks like this as you can see the mud covered almost uh, maybe one and a half meter inside this chamber and we don't have underground right now and no one cares that's the construction uh, blueprint of this what they show us today but we know it has an underground level and it could have had it maybe it's now like the concrete uh, cemented this underground so no one can seal it they sealed it so no one can 